Well, well, laugh. Looks like my name has made it onto James Hines' laugh a lot blog. Oh, how he made me chuckle with his wild imagination. And his passive aggressive biased behavior, and unwavering nonsense. He's still spouting off steam I am Nasu or is it Sheva or am I both? And part of a larger gang, controlled by Sheva. Also known as Sheva's hounds. Yes, the poor chap believes Sheva has a gang of hounds working against him. Is this paranoia or woof woof? Seriously though I am now asking myself if this person's ADHD he alleges he has been diagnosed with, is becoming increasingly unstable and erratic in his ability to reason healthy debate. Is he in a state of hyperfocus? Hyperfocused attention that lasts a long time. Whereby you concentrate on something so hard that you lose track of everything around you. Doctors often see hyperfocus in people who have ADHD, attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, but it is not an official symptom. Has Hind become so hyper-focused he has lost track of everything else going on around him? He cannot see the wood from the trees and blocked and degraded anyone who attempted to enter into healthy debate about the exclusive blog content and videos his new mate Shelley Moat put to the public forum. I never brought the Archer case into disrepute or potential collapse as Hind and Moat are now accusing me of. I am just seeing it without rose-tinted glasses on. And probably like any court of law, or jury will do, given when, what and how this has been presented. I keep hearing Hind bleat on about how Moat had been radicalized by Archer's terminology. I am having great difficulty in accepting this version of events to be honest. In Moat's own words in the video that went viral, where she is attacking and insulting survivors of child sexual abuse. Moat states she is indeed a survivor of previous satanic neo-Nazi abuse, and already radicalized by her own family. After such abuse and the recovery that would have taken place after the alleged conviction Moat states she obtained with compensation, surely she would have realized what being radicalized really was, she had previous first-hand knowledge of what that entailed. Now listen. She might have been through fucking SRA, but do you know what? Same way. Does Hind not think Archer's and company's legal beagles will not be all over that fact? Or does Moat think it okay to stick it on Archer like she did Watson? Because in her eyes they are already guilty of humiliating her with rejection from the group cult. Hind also states the Archer-Moat relationship was brief. However, Moat never left the Archer camp till the one fallout, a good year later and had been more than a vulnerable onlooking supporter to Archer. She was Archer's spiritual occult advisor whom Archer went to for advice. We have not heard the conversations between Archer and Moat in their entirety. Neither have we heard the advice that Moat was giving her as her spiritual advisor. Moat has only shared a few choice clips damning Archer. We do not know what Moat encouraged her to do or not to do in the time prior to Wong's expose. Moat has never been fully transparent about her spiritual advice given why. Anyway quick recap for clarity what I think went on. I am still allowed an opinion as far as I am aware without fear or intimidation, not that I'm frightened or intimidated but others may be with this sort of harassment directed towards me for having one. I don't scare easily, and stand my ground when I feel I am right. Hind never blocked anyone for being aggressive the little drama queen. Anyone who has tried to enter into healthy debate with him has been froze out and blocked. It just shows how he is single-minded and hyper-focused on Moat being the real thing. We have all heard Moat states she is a superior being, and seen reptilians and been satanic ritually abused as a child, without a shred of evidence. Who does this sound like? Oh yeah the very person Hind despises Archer. I can make another video pointing it all out if he likes or not heard it. Hind needs to ask himself does he believe that Moat has seen reptilians and is in fact a superior being and holds supernatural superpowers, sorry I am laughing right now. Before he believes anything he needs to address this. It's okay to make blog content out of Archer and laugh at her reptilian encounters yet Moat has claimed the exact same and he embraces her. Before I believe anything that comes out of any of them show me the reptilians. 
Show me the superpower. For someone who has been taking down Satan hunters for so long surely he would be asking Moat these questions. Unless Hind himself is in the middle of some mental health crisis involving hyper-focusing and so enthralled with Moat's mystical hogwash then he has lost all sense of reasoning. And any credibility I had for him, which I do admit is not a lot as he comes across very pompous, flushed down the toilet alongside the last shite I had. Stick that in your pipe Hind. Prove to us all your star attraction is really as truthful as you say. Show us the lizard people let's see her superior power above other humans. You deluded bunch of Egypts. And the axe will prove it. When the police investigation is over. I will do it for fun now and take great pleasure in showing you how you were hoodwinked by a fake ass self-proclaimed superior being, how she got you hook line and sink her into her nefarious little plot. Stick around hind I have a big feeling you will learn something new from all this. Until Archer has been convicted or admitted guilt in a court of law she is indeed innocent until proven guilty. That is the law in this country, like it or not hind. If this case collapses I would suggest it's because the evidence was contaminated and put into public forum, to decide, before putting before a court of law. Don't gaslight your failures to me. Both you and Moat been going on like she has already been convicted and sentenced. Making videos, writing blogs, that confirm each other's fantasies bar. This has ruined jeopardized this case you pair of planks, not me. And anyone who tried to tell him was blocked. One last thing that completely sways my opinion of how Hind and Co are conducting their exclusive research is the calling of Bellstaff man being Richard Short. That actually tickled me pink laugh. And confirmed what I already know. You lot do not know your heads from your asses and just clutching at straws, anything to gaslight. You're wrong about a lot of things but too ignorant to healthy debate anything. And given how great you researchers really are then I guess I am safe as houses laugh. Now use your energy to conjure up these reptilians and other nasty things Moat says she can do. Before you sling shit at others hind. I'm furious and you know what, I'm glad I live so far away. You wanna play with the devil? Hmm? You wanna play with some reptilians? You wanna play with some draconians? You wanna go into Arconian? <laughs>